Hey guys, it's me, 50, and welcome back to, well, the first game I've ever played on this channel, and the first game that I ever called Hell on this channel, uh, Modern Warfare 3. The reason why we're going back to it is I wanted to finish up the game once and for all by beating the campaign. Um, that way, I'd never have to really play it again, um, so we're going to go on regular like always. Um, so, this is the last entry in the Modern Warfare um, kind of franchise. So, if you have not seen Modern Warfare 2, um, that campaign's already up, but um, Modern Warfare 1 is not yet. I'll do that one eventually. I'm just going to be munching on some pretzel sticks. Hope you guys don't mind. Nikolai, you got to get Sarb out of here. Ah, I know a place. Okay, so out of, I want to say out of all the Call of Duty campaigns, I think this is the one that I remember the least of. Um, like, I remember some parts of Ghost since that was recently, but this, I cannot remember most of it. Um, even Advanced Warfare, I can't remember bits and pieces of it. Even though, like, I only played them once. Like, I played this once and never played it again. So, it's gonna be like playing it for the first time. You're like, when did this game come out? The game case right next to me. Um, 2011, so it's been like four years. Oh, yes, I remember that. That, uh, World War Three flip. I gotta say, from 2 to 3, the cutscenes in 3 weren't that great. And also, why did I get a trophy for no reason? I, I'll take it, but I don't get it. I just kind of sat there. Like, uh, in Modern Warfare 2, you wouldn't really see that bar. It would be more hidden. But I wish they would have uh, hidden that better. Glad to have you in our corner, it's just a small thing the that I remember. Did it? To jam Wait, did the second one? It might have. I don't stock remember that. I need your team to destroy it. The jammer's full spectrum, so until it's down, you'll have no radio contact. I have ground assets to get you close. Over. Copy all. We'll get it done. Welcome to Black Tuesday. Frost. Get switched on. We gotta move now. And as always, the Call of Duty campaign will look similar to a Michael Bay film. Ah, uh, yes. The M4A1. See, I had this thing gold um, on my... Again, I'm playing on the um, second account. So I had this... It was like the first multiplayer gun I had gold. Um, and then I prestiged, and then I lost it. And I was like, well, that sucked. And I've been trying to get it back ever since. Jesus, it's been a while since I played uh, first-person shooters. What was that guy just doing, crouching over and over and over again? It's like the first thing I noticed.
What's my secondary? Okay, I'll probably need that later. If they give me a rocket launcher. Yikes, that was a bad idea. Please tell me that blew it up. It did. Alright, that's nice. That's good to know. Oh, let's throw one of these bad boys. Is there anything over there? Oh, hi. Release, hold your fire. Oh, thank God. Oh, sorry. Sandman, was it? I think this is where, um, I could be wrong. But I, like for me, this is where like the Call of Duty um, campaigns kind of felt like one-time playthroughs. Um, even Black Ops 2 wasn't one-time playthrough for me. Like Modern Warfare 2, I've played several times. Um, Black Ops 1, I've played through several times. World at War, I've played through various times. Um, uh, actually, yeah, Black, Black Ops 1 was... I think I played Black Ops 1 as many times as I did, um... Black Ops 2... Or, Black Ops 1, sorry. I think I played those equal amounts of times. Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare... I think I've only played those all... Damn it, that was a bad idea. I think I've played all of those at least once. Modern Warfare 1, I didn't play too much since... That was kind of like later in the cycle, but no, we don't want the hybrid site. And this was the game that like started bringing in things like hybrid sites and things like that. Um, I wasn't a fan of the hybrid site, um, but okay, so the goal is to stay back. Let me just get a normal M4A1, that way I can get rid of the other one. I really do like the iron sights on the M4A1. Uh, I think this is S variant. Did that blow it up? That was too high. Hopefully that did something. Okay, run, run, run. Damn it. I got stuck on something there and I didn't know what. Man, this is going to take me a while to get back into used to playing Call, like, Call of Duty campaigns and shit like that. Because it's been so long since I've played one. I got to remember kind of the old tropes. What truly made a Call of Duty campaign a Call of Duty campaign. Ridiculous action sequences. Might as well run in here right away. Turn back at your... Uh, I can at least stay in here.
Um, okay. We're following you, right? Yeah. That would explain the giant follow over your head. Now, as much as I called Modern Warfare 3 hell, it wasn't that bad. Like, the campaign was fun, some of the Spec Op missions were fun. The multiplayer was what really was hell for me. Um, but, like, if you play Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer now, it's gotten kind of nicer, I would say. It's been more forgiving. Um, unlike... Unlike, um, say, like, Black Ops 2, that one's not really that forgiving anymore. Um, because of skill-based matchmaking. Um, Ghosts is kind of the same way. Um, where it's really forgiving. Um, okay, let me clear that up a little bit, because it's sounding like I'm saying Ghost isn't forgiving. It, it's like Modern Warfare 3, where it was more fun after, um, its life cycle. When, like, everything was kind of figured out, and things like that. Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops... Um, yeah, and, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops were the ones that, when I played it in its prime, I still had as much fun as when I was playing it after its prime. Um, this was the game where I just didn't like it in its prime, but I liked it after its prime a bit, or I... I felt better about it, let's put it that way. I felt better about it after its prime. Um, same with Ghosts, it's like... Yeah, Ghosts had a lot of problems, and sure, it was really annoying when it was um, out, but... You know, after its life cycle, I think it was okay. Like, when everyone started leaving it, and... You know, some of the, like, the newbie players that would keep on using the really... Um, annoying stuff, you know, moved on to the new Call of Duty and used the annoying stuff there, and then um, some of the not-so-annoying stuff is, um, you know, it, like, yeah, I can't formulate thoughts. I think you guys get what I mean. It's like, after it's prime, everyone's not using the newbie shit, they're kind of, you know, trying the other shit, because now they can actually do so, and, you know, it's... That's what I like about, like, Ghost and Modern Warfare 3, is after its life cycle, you know, you were allowed to use those other things, uh, instead of the kind of, you know, really annoying guns, you know, the overpowered guns and things like that. Now, if you wanted a challenge, I guess you could have used those guns when the game was in its prime, but it r really was annoying to do that. Um, because you would be going up against, you know, all these super overpowered weapons, and it's like, no thank you. Um, you know, the thing with, like, uh, what kept me involved in, like, Black Ops or, um, or, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Jesus Christ, is, um, all the different guns, all the different, you know, little things that you can try. Um, I really liked that, you know, and Call of Duty is kind of overdone it to the point where you can't really do that in one life cycle of the game anymore, which for me is super annoying. Um, to be quite honest, I don't care about cu character customization, I don't really care about, um, you know, uh, you know, announcer voices, you know, that was one thing in Ghost that got me ticked off. Um, but yeah, that was like the huge things, was just, those constantly annoyed me, um, with the newer ones, and you don't really get those, uh, in some of the older ones. You know, this one had a huge amount of guns, but, um, this, this was like where you started to see, like, oh, you're not gonna get the life cycle to play as, with all of them, so, um, you know, I think that's why, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jerod, if you watch this. Um, I feel like that's why Drode, you know, constantly likes to go back to it, you know, to kind of get those gold guns with the guns that he didn't get in its prime, and, um, you know, and the maps, okay, I did not like most of the maps, um, you know, but some of them were fun, and some of them, like, are memorable and stuff like that, so, um, you know, if, 
Hold on, let me pick up that M4 again. I didn't know there was um, an ammo box right here. Um, you know, it's just you got to play with all those guns again and, you know, kind of level them up. And sure, it would take a long time because that's just how Call of Duty is, but, you know, at least you could use them now. Uh, the thing with Black Ops that, you know, I I kind of get frustrated with with Black Ops 1 is you had to play certain stuff in order to get certain stuff. So if you wanted pro perks, you had to play certain game modes, and that was a, kind of annoying. Some of the guns were kind of dull compared to the other ones, or clones of the other ones. Um, so you really could just play the game through, you know, the kind of more used guns. You didn't have to worry about the other ones unless if you wanted to get all the challenges done, or if you were bored of using the Hamas, you could just jump to the, the um, AUG, and it was pretty much the exact same thing. Um, if you were tired of, um, you know, using the, uh, what was it, the G11, you could, um, you know, give yourself a little bit of a challenge and go with the M16, even though, like, we all know the G11 was so much better, but, um, you know, pretty, pretty much if you used just the, I think it was PSG1 and Black Ops 1, you could switch to any of the other semi-auto snipers and, you know, a lot of the guns were either kind of useless or felt the same as others in Black Ops 1, so that's why I didn't use them as much. And in Modern Warfare 2, there was just a huge array, again, of guns and just some of them were like, eh, I don't want to use it because it's not really that balanced. Um, but this is kind of where it's like, okay, I kind of want to play with these other guns. You know, I want to see um, what they hold, you know. I feel like this game had, was like the start of, you know, each gun is kind of getting unique. Um, and then that carried over the Black Ops 2. Ghosts, every gun felt the same. Um, you know, and then, you know, Advanced Warfare is where they really picked everything up to an extreme level. So, with gun variations and things like that, and that got too much for me. Uh, I, I do have to admit. It, the thing is, if it wasn't skill-based matchmaking, I think it would have worked. Um, and I've said this before in many different Call of Duty videos. I, I think that, um, you know, if Advanced Warfare didn't have skill-based matchmaking, I think it would be a lot more fun. Um, I feel like if Ghosts had skill-based matchmaking, matchmaking, it would have made it more fun in its prime. But since, you know, they weren't, I, I guess it just, you know, I guess that, that's kind of the game's flaw. Okay, I'm gonna run up here. Probably a bad idea, though. Yeah. I thought there was a guy shooting me, and I was like, he's gotta be up here. But, that guess that wasn't the case. Um... So... I guess the question is which Call of Duty campaign I like the most. I've played pretty much all of them from, you know, the PS3 and Xbox 360 generation. Um, so I guess, which one do I like the most? As much as the story didn't make any sense, I really liked Black Ops 1's kind of missions. Modern Warfare 2, I think, had the best story. Um, even though uh, Advanced Warfare kind of gave it a, um, a run for its money, I still I like uh, Modern Warfare 2's a little better. Because, um, with Advanced Warfare, don't get me wrong, it was, it was fun and everything, but, um, you know, it, I feel like that's where it kind of ran out, like that Call of Duty feeling kind of ran out, ran out on everyone. I'm just getting super far away from that. Um, it felt like, oh, we, we're playing the same thing again, and, uh, I, I kind of didn't want that. But, uh, Advanced Warfare's story was pretty good. I think it's like a close second to Modern Warfare 2. 
Modern Warfare 1 had a good story too, but I, I think it wasn't the best story ever. There were some dull moments in it. Oh, I see why they gave you the hybrid site, huh? Oh yeah, Captain. Did they knock out the Predator already? Or was it? I think I just got shot, that's it. Boom. Um... Is that friendly? Yes, it is. Um, Black Ops 2 story was fun to play, but I don't remember too much of it. Um, I think it's got to be either Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 1's um, multi or not multiplayer. Um, campaign for me is like the best one that I've played. Um, and I've played a lot of campaigns. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't uh, surprise me too much that, you know, kind of like my first two Call of Duties were the ones that I kind of chose. It's why, um, like, I, I'm really fond of uh, Injustice in, like, multi or, like, beat-em-up game, like, in the beat-em-up game genre. It's just... It was kind of like my first beat em up that I really got invested in. And Call of Duty was like the first shooter that I really got invested in, too. So, you know, I had like um, some of the. Uh, like, I think I had like one or two Medal of Honor games, which I couldn't, couldn't really get into. I was really in the battlefield um, during the Modern Warfare 3 cycle, actually. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, during the ghost cycle, too. Um, the thing that I like about um, uh, Battlefield is, like, for some reason, right, it always knows when the worst Call of Duties are, so it always gives us a good Battlefield game. With the exception, like, I haven't played Hardline too much, but I just, I don't like the look of it. I don't like how it, how I, it played in the beta. It just, it wasn't my thing. Would I pick it up? Uh, probably when the price goes down. But besides that, nah. I'm, I'm not going to pick it up anytime soon. I, I got other games to play. And replay. <laughs> Mission one.